Good afternoon, this is Max, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Norman. It's around 1 p.m. on Thursday, April 25th, 2024. This briefing will provide our latest thinking regarding severe weather potential over multiple days upcoming through the late weekend timeframe. Multiple rounds of severe weather are expected across our area between early this evening through Sunday afternoon. Initially this evening, there's a low chance for supercell development across the Texas Panhandle. A few of these storms may approach far western Oklahoma this evening with a risk for tornadoes, very large hail, and damaging winds. A more probable outcome this evening is that a line of storms develops across the central Texas Panhandle and moves into portions of our area late tonight through early on Friday morning and then spreads eastward across much of our area, posing a risk for large hail, damaging winds, and embedded tornadoes. Heading towards Friday evening and Saturday, there is high uncertainty regarding storm timing and severity across the area. This is the latest thunderstorm outlook from our partners at the Storm Prediction Center, which highlights all of our area having some risk for severe weather between 8 p.m. this evening and about daybreak on Friday morning. The highest concern for severe weather exists in the enhanced level 3 out of 5 area, which is where we expect the highest concern for damaging winds and embedded tornadoes to exist very late this evening through early on Friday morning. As previously mentioned, storms across our area this evening and early on Friday morning will have a low tornado risk, with a very low tornado risk extending into southeastern Oklahoma as storms are expected to weaken shortly after sunrise on Friday morning. Looking at the timing for severe weather this evening through Friday morning, areas across far northwestern Oklahoma may see supercell thunderstorms encroach these areas as early as 8 p.m., However, the more probable outcome is that a line of thunderstorms develops across the central Texas panhandle and sweeps eastward, entering our area around 11 p.m. or midnight on Friday. For central Oklahoma, the most likely time frame for severe weather will extend from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., with severe weather generally advancing eastward and either weakening or clearing our area around 9 a.m. on Friday morning. In the wake of the morning round of thunderstorms on Friday morning, there are additional chances for severe weather on Friday afternoon into Friday evening, mainly in areas along and east of the I-35 corridor. The probability of severe thunderstorms is not overly high. However, if thunderstorms do develop, especially in the slight risk level two out of five area, they will be capable of producing all severe hazards, including damaging winds, large to very large hail, and potentially carry a low tornado risk. This graphic shows where tornado risk will exist if thunderstorms develop on Friday afternoon into evening. Again, a low tornado risk will exist for areas generally along and east of a line from Tulsa, Oklahoma towards Ada and then down towards Lake Texoma. For timing of severe weather, Friday afternoon into evening, if storms develop, they may begin as early as 4 p.m. in our area. The most likely time frame for storm development to occur would be between 5 and 8 p.m. on Friday evening. Activity should be ending in potential or exiting our area by around 9 p.m. on Friday. Severe weather concern will extend into the beginning of our weekend on Saturday, and this includes the potential for a significant severe weather episode across portions of our area, especially the area currently outlined in the enhanced level three out of five area. This includes the potential for multiple rounds of severe weather from the late morning into the late evening, potentially even in to early on Sunday morning. Storms look to be capable of producing all severe hazards, including large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. With a round of potentially significant severe storms expected very late this evening and early on Friday morning, we wanna make sure you have a way to receive alerts while you sleep. If you use WIA enabled devices, you'll wanna make sure that your weather alerts are loud enough that they will wake you while you sleep. That includes making sure your do not disturb function is off on your smartphone. That's all for this update. Again, this was Max, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Norman. Be sure to follow us on social media and visit our webpage weather.gov backslash Norman for the latest thinking regarding severe weather potential, not only this evening and early on Friday morning, but into the weekend as well. Take care and remain weather aware.